I'm Larry Menti. Welcome back to Jersey Matters. There's plenty of places you can go for rehab for drug and alcohol addiction, but what happens after that? Some people are just left on their own and fall right back into the trap that got them to rehab in the first place. Daniel Reagan is co-founder and program director, and Tony White is member of a place that's trying to break that circle. As a matter of fact, it's called Coming Full Circle, Loud and Clear Foundation. It's in Farmingdale, New Jersey. Thank you so much both for being here. Thank you for having Thank us. Uh, let's start with what the organization is. What do you do exactly? So what we do is we do post-treatment care, and we fill in the gaps that lie after treatment. So we help people get their lives back together and find this new lifestyle that they're in. Um, we run workshops, we run meetings, self-help meetings, we run social activities and volunteer opportunities throughout the entire week. Uh, let me stay with the social activities for a second because that must be so important only because the, a lot of social activities include drug and alcohol. Exactly. A and so you're offering activities that don't include that? Well, not necessarily. Uh, we don't take the drugs or alcohol, um, but we'll go to a rock concert, um, we'll go to a nightclub and go dancing. But you uh, stay in a group? I mean, where does the support come from? It, it comes from each other going together? Absolutely. Uh, what occurs is, we, with the new heroin epidemic that's occurring, we're seeing a vast number of people in their 20s that are addicted to drugs and substances. So, like you said before, our culture surrounds fun around getting wasted. So there's always alcohol or something involved. Now, tell a 20-year-old that they're never going to go to a nightclub ever again. Tell them that they're never going to go down to Atlantic City and ever experience that. So at 20 years old, you're looking at 21 going, wow, I'm never going to be a grown-up. Like, I'm going to miss this part of my life. And that's not necessarily true. You can absolutely have that fun, that dancing and hanging out with friends, going out to the nightclub and stuff of that nature. You just don't drink. And there's no support group for that. Uh, I mean, aside from that, we do a lot of things, from skydiving to pottery. Um, but they don't necessarily have to be in a sober environment. Um, we just go there as a strong group um, and look out for each other That's and nice. support each other. And you helped Tony. Do you, you can relate to that story? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. What is your story? Um, the same thing. I was, I've been in five rehabs. You know, I would, I would, you know, be struggling with my addiction and then go to rehab and then come out and I could stay sober for a little bit, but I just, I, it, I couldn't stick. When you keep going back to rehab, do you see the same people? No, I, mean, I didn't. It, I'm asking if it's, if it's a common story. It is. It, it is yes. a common story. Yes. And, and what was the fallback? What happened when you leave rehab that makes you fall back to drugs and or alcohol? Um, most of it was that I didn't know how to live my life and have a good time without using drugs or alcohol. I didn't know how to get started with my life, you know, go to school, um, you know, just be a, like what they consider a normal person. You know, I didn't know how to do any of that stuff. I needed help doing that. And um, when I would struggle with it, I would just end up giving up. I know next weekend is a big weekend for you. Yeah. What's going on? Well, this is our annual fundraiser. The whole entire organization operates off of private donations. So we have two a year. This is our biggest one. And that's Rock the Farm. And it's on August 27th. And it's an all-day family fun. We have a petting zoo. Uh, we have craft vendors and food trucks. We have about 35 different musician uh, bands playing. I saw some big names, too. Yeah, we have uh, David Bryan and Matt O'Reilly from Bon Jovi coming. Um, we have Vinny Lopez from the E Street Band. We have Blue Oyster Colt. Trevor Hall, uh, Chadwick Stokes from Dispatch, uh, huge names coming out, uh, a lot of rock and roll Hall of Famers. It's going to be a blast. That's, that's wonderful. And Tony, you're doing all right now? Yes. You, how long have you been uh, at the foundation now? I've been in CFC for about seven months. And so far, so good? Yeah. I mean, they keep me busy. That's great. You know, give me a lot of opportunities to expand my life in different ways that I wouldn't know how to start if I didn't have them. Well, thank you both for coming in. I really appreciate it. Daniel Reagan is the co-founder and program director, and Tony White is a member of Coming Full Circle Loud and Clear Foundation in Farmingdale, New Jersey, and their big fundraiser is next week. It's called Rock the Farm. You can find it by Googling it, right? That's mm -hmm. how you can do it. Just Google Rock the, Rock Farm, the Farm, NJ. Rock the Farm NJ. That wraps up the Jersey Matters for this week. I'm Larry Menti. Stick around now for another thing.